August 29th, November 21st, 1994. December 16th, 1992. Forty fourth figure nineteen ninety eight. May fourteen, that's ninety four. August 7, 1997. Fifteenth week in nineteen eighty nine. November twentieth, nineteen ninety. This is an Avon copy. October 23rd, 2000. May 28th, 1995. Black Wizard Day, May 10th, 1995. June 15th and June 5th, 1988. Ten days apart. Thirty third week in that's ninety two and the twentieth week in that's ninety five. Recycle tape. July thirtieth, town one and July twenty seventh, town one. This next tape has no week in year code, but it does have the RCA. It does have RCA uh, printed on the stand on the on the lid. It has the RCA it has RCA text printed on the lid, which is pretty interesting.
April 25th, 1995. Got this tape for one reason only. It's factory sealed. That's the reason. I would regret it if I didn't get this tape, so I went and picked it up to avoid to avoid regretting not getting it. Weekend Year Codes, 47th of the time, 4. I am not opening this tape, keeping it sealed. Got it for design purposes. Got it for artwork, in other words. March 15th, Tom 1. August 2nd, 1984. January 6, 1996. February 21st, Town 2. There. Eighty sixth day of nineteen eighty eight. October thirty first, nineteen ninety five. Two per day copy. March 25th, Town 3, and March 18th, Town 3. October 21st, 1995. May 4th, 1999. 36, we get town one. April 3rd, 1991, and the 20th week in that time, one. Now I'm going to open two factory seal tapes. Never owned this tape. Same with some of the other ones I got today. Fifty first week in that time seven. Here's the other one. Two fisted law. This is a nineteen thirty two movie. Super, super, super old movie. One of the oldest I've ever had. 
if not the oldest. Hang on a minute, guys. Sorry. Almost there. There we go. Forty third week of two thousand two. All right. And I got two Blu-rays super unexpectedly. ARC usually never has Blu-rays, but they actually did have a few Blu-rays today. Now, this these, these two Blu-rays I just could not pass up because I really like the slipcovers. And I just felt like getting them because I knew I'd regret it if I didn't. So, I just couldn't resist. They had a few other Blu-rays, Disney Blu-rays as well, but I didn't pick them up. They had, like, Up and Bedtime Stories, uh, the 2D Blu-ray versions. And 3D Blu-ray of Beauty and the Beast. Never, ever, I don't think I've ever, ever found a 3D Blu-ray at ARC. I don't remember ever seeing a 3D Blu-ray at ARC. Until today, actually. Hope that sticker doesn't ruin this part of the subcover too much. Hopefully. And that's the update. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.